Hey up. Two, two, one, two. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Alice Rayner. Uh, tonight we're going to sort of entertain you for an hour and a half doing some of my own stuff and some covers. So, hope you enjoy this first song by Hosea. My love has got humor. She used to giggle at a funeral. Those everybody's disapprovals. Should have worshipped the sooner. If the heavens ever did speak, she's the last true mouthpiece. Every Sunday's getting more bleak. A fresh poison each week. We were born safe. A day later than me, I'd say. I don't know, it depends. On Sunday. My, my normal days, I get up, I go to college. Um, fuck bitches. No, don't do that. I'm, I'm a gentleman. This guitar was, was, was an old beat up classical that my uncle had donated to me, like that he dug out of the loft. And, you know, it was that, that see where it got me. My first proper guitar, um, I've still got that as well, it's an old. Tanglewood Dreadnought, and it was, and, it, and, it, and at the time it was bigger than me because my mum and relatives had no clue about guitars. So for, from when I was about eight to about ten, it was just constantly bigger than me, constantly fighting to get my arm around. Know my way through the dark days. I gotta buy a heart. Sort of from a musical point of view, I get my inspiration inspirations from people like. The Beatles, uh, Ed Sheeran, love Ed Sheeran. Um, I'd say if, if there was an artist in the charts who I could, you know, aspire to be like music, uh, like as a musician, it'd probably be Ed Sheeran. Um, I sort of like, I see a lot of myself in him. Like looking back, like I've looked at the videos when he was like my age, and you know what he was doing at the time, and I'm like, well, that's what I'm doing now. So it kind of gives me the hope and the sense that maybe I could. It, but you know, by the time I'm 24, I could be where he is. So be up when it's over. When I'm All this crowd knows finding myself tonight. Today, I'd say my granddad as well. Um, my, my, my granddad passed away some time ago, but. While I was like learning, uh, when I was learning to play guitar um, and you know singing, like he got me like a Beatles book of like all the Beatles number ones. Um, yeah, oh, he was some man, our our norm. He was very supportive with me musically. Like took me to karaoke nights when I was when I was about nine or ten. You know, he, he was fully supportive. He always he always like to listen to me sing. Um, and his his one of his favourite songs. In fact, it's why I've got this. Uh, this tattoo that I got last Wednesday. Love is a prize, so we be up when it's all over. Um, and it was my granddad's favourite, one of my granddad's favourite songs. He loved to sing it on a, he loved to sing it on karaoke. Um, I remember every karaoke night it would, you know, Rob, Robbie Williams would be in there somewhere. When it's over, when like when I write a new song, Every gig, you know, he's, he's, he's there in the back of my mind because, uh, you know, keeps me going. Have you heard this song, uh, you know, even to the extent of getting me the sheet music to learn it? So I'd say my granddad was a very bit, is, is and still a very big influence to me as a musician. The best venues I've played are Storytellers in, uh, in Stockton. I'm playing currently at a bar in Stockton called Bar Vista. That's all, that's always a good show. Um, do good palmos there. You, usually uh, the the uh, 
the gaffer Jeff. If I'm if I'm feeling hungry or if I have an empty tea, I'm just like just a pound more stick as stick as a pound more to take on. The waves were singing. Everyone was singing. Yeah. Like, this could this goes for any bar. Yeah. Like you know, I'm not a bar man, but I like the vibe. Like it's really good. Like I appreciate like all the barmen, the promoters, and the management. Um, I appreciate all the work that they put in promoting events. You know, all all the work they do behind the scenes, leading up to the night, and then on the night because if you've got a packed out room, you've got your bar staff serving like constantly all the time. It all works two ways. There's you as the entertainer, you've got to keep them entertained and you know, you've got to draw them in and you know hold their attention with your music. Um, but then so of, <clears throat> but then so of the bar staff they've got to keep serving them serving them drinks, you know, to sort of like get pissed up and have a good time. Maybe, yeah, he made me stop drinking my beer and listen to him. Yeah. yeah, just leave that for the next time. So I've like a little, as a little intimate gig, it was Boxing Day last year. Um, I did it. I did a gig at, at Sticky Fingers and. Um, I walked in and Joey was like, we have, we have a, there's a sound guy there called Dave, lovely guy. And I didn't know he wasn't there that night. So I came in and Joey's like, right, it's just you. I found it, it, it was a bit, you know, you know, you did your songs and people were like, it was, it was a bit like background music. Um, but as the drinks start, you know, as the drinks start flowing in, everyone's getting a bit, getting a bit happy. Um, take my money? Yeah. Like Borough versus Nottingham Forest on Boxing Day, it was a home match. It gets to the night, you know, I think we must have like, I can't remember if we won or not, but the atmosphere, um, that was just in this like, you know, little bar in Middlesbrough, it was like the whole of the North Stand from Borough were in there. Yeah, she's a I didn't mind because you feed off the crowd and it's, it's, it's just great when it's 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 great when you've got people so so clued in and like you know stuck in. It 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 just gave me such like a buzz off of it. Like I just you know it makes you kind of feel a bit unstoppable. Like you can just keep playing and playing all night, but eventually the the show does just have to come to an end. Say my name, say my name. No one is around you. Say, baby, I love you. And you are my son. And you are mine. But she didn't know by the ways I loved you. I'm not good at a one that stand. But I still need love because I'm just a man. And these nights never seem to go to plan. I don't want you to leave, but you hold my hand Oh, won't you stay with me? It's 20, it's what, it's 2015, you do like me Um, I leave college, uh, I leave college this year In the meantime, I'm doing my gigs and, you know, I'm working But, when I, my plan is, when I leave college, uh I'm gonna try and go further afield. Why am I so emotional? And this is not you, You've got to get up off your ass and you know you've got to put every last ounce of blood, sweat, and tears into it. Never works when you can lay with me, so it doesn't. Because everyone's saying you need a backup plan. Yeah, you want to do your music, but you know you, you need to have like a plan B. And uh, I always said to him. I'll never have a plan B because plan B will distract me from plan A. I'm still happy, you know, I'm, I'm still happy, you know, going to the going to the pub and doing a spot and then, you know, having a few pints with my mates afterwards, you know. Wherever flows in miles for comfort, we have traveled land and sea. 
But as long as I get with you, there's no place I'd rather be. And I would wait forever.